Uh, I injured myself playing volleyball and I uh, tore my rotator cuff. Uh, I broke my finger during soccer practice. The end of last year, uh, so as a sophomore, I got concussed. I tore my ACL. Um, I made a cut and my knee just kind of like gave out. It was in May. I think it was May 1st. It was May Day. Isn't that ironic? When I was mowing the lawn and we have a hill. And as I was going down, there was like a divot and I could feel my leg going. And I, by the time I let go of the lawnmower and tried to catch my balance, I already heard it crack. I was out for about two weeks, but I was still hurt for a while after. Around eight months. I missed the entire season. It was about seven weeks. Um, I ended up not coming to school for probably a week, uh, just because I had like really, really bad symptoms. But, um, yeah, it was, like, really hard because then I missed a lot of stuff that ended up having to be on my, like, finals. I mean, it wasn't, like, too hard, but I did meet, miss the first week of school because I had surgery the day before. Um, but, I don't know, like, it was mainly just, like, like traveling, like, on crutches and stuff, but it wasn't too hard. No, because it was my left hand, so I didn't need to adjust the way I wrote, but typing was hard. It hurt when I, um, like, hit the ball, and... It was just hard to get back into playing. Um, I have to be a lot more mindful of like, kind of, if I'm feeling like sick or anything, because I get like really bad headaches now, and I get like light headedness spells, and I can faint easier. So I just kind of have to be mindful of like how um, I'm feeling and like what's going on in my my head, so I don't have to go back to the hospital. No, not really. I think right after my injury, it took a little bit to get back used to it, but after that, I was fine. Oh, well, now I'm fine. I'm, like, better than I was because I haven't improved. But, like, right after, it was, right. I wasn't hitting as well, and I wasn't playing as good. Yeah, it's just, like, kind of hard because, like, now I'm, like, playing lacrosse again, but I'm, like, afraid that it's going to happen again. Um, I mean, before it happened, I didn't really think about hurting myself that much, and now... Um, I don't know, I'm just like more like cautious when it comes to cutting and running because like that's what happened last time. I teach in a hot room and my, I can feel inside my boot my ankle just swell up every day and I ended up having to miss some days teaching because it was just too hard to go in my car and out.